Hi there. This is my Lodge Cast Iron Wok, and two days ago I used this to make marshmallow Rice Krispie treats. And I got lazy and I did not wash the pan out immediately. So as a result, we have a coating of melted on marshmallow glaze along with some uh, spare uh, pieces of cereal. The marshmallow has solidified to the point where it feels like a plastic coating on the, uh, on the surface of the pan. So this is going to be an experience to clean up. That's why I thought it might be a good idea to record this and uh, just show you folks what it's like to clean out a cast iron pan. Now, of course, everyone has their own methods for cleaning cast iron, and all I can do is show you what I like doing the best in my kitchen. Now, I do have a chainmail scrubber, and I do use it every day for cleaning my cast iron, but not everyone has one of these. So, until you get one of those, what I really recommend is using one of those stiff green scrubbies. You know, the kind that uh, they sell from Scotch-Brite, and you can uh, usually get these things dirt cheap at Walmart or Home Depot or the like. You normally can't find these at the dollar store, though, and while they do sell uh, some scrubbers at the dollar store, these things will work okay but not as good as the really tough scrubby. So definitely go out of your way and get a few of these if you can. Uh, it just so happens I have some really good hot water in my sink. And if I'm not careful, this could get hot enough to scald me. This is not that hot, fortunately, but it's nice and hot. And all we do is start scrubbing away. And there we are. Now all we have to do is put it on the stovetop burner and dry it off. And once the pan is all washed out, we'll dry it off on the stove and then give it a coating of oil. Coating the dry pan is important, of course, because it will, of course, help to prevent rust. Now a lot of folks like to use vegetable oil or canola oil or even olive oil for coating their pans after they're done. But I like to keep this little cast iron platter with Crisco by my stove because I find Crisco works really well for coating your pan after it's dried off. And when you've got a large cast iron collection like mine, that actually means a lot. And we turn on the heat to the three setting on my stove, which is about uh, low to medium heat. 
and let it dry out for about five to 10 minutes. And I simply use a dollar store cloth to apply the Crisco to the pan while it's still warm. We turn off the burner, let it cool off, and we are done. The walk will go away and come out to play another time.